computer click restart to complete the edit you know but i don't want to restart i really i don't you guys suck there we go there you go eat that <laughs> One, you're in the right place at the right time blasting out of the east coast like a ray of screaming across the land and into your town and into your home slamming into your mac like a supercharged delorean running on plutonium greetings from an undisclosed location this is logic pro hacks all right so hey this is brian from logic pro hacks Look at the nice serene beauty of my background. Yes, there you go. I want to talk about sound flower. Yes, the flower of sound. So the question is asked, how do you sample crap from YouTube and get it on your computer with ease? All right, this is simple. Can be hard if you want to make it that way. First step, open up your favorite browser. It could be Chrome, it could be Firefox, it could be Safari, whatever is your favorite. Doesn't matter. And then type in or search for this. It's called Sound Flower. It's built that way. Yeah, whatever. Okay, and it's going to be these guys, I believe. Rogue Amoeba. You can also get it here too. So, or Mac update. All right, so we're gonna go to just the first link here and see if we can get it. Got it, show and finder. And we got the zip, open it with this program called Kika. Kika is a really nice zip utility. Just Google it, K-E-K, -E Kika, Mac. And it's this right here, very nice. And it unzips anything. So we're in our finder and there is a version out there called Soundflower 2.0 B2. It's like the newest, latest, greatest, but I've had some trouble installing this. So it may not work for you. It's a beta version. So run it at your own risk. I'm actually gonna use an older version It's plain sound on my, you know, screw you. Why does it do that? Anyways, so what you want is you want this version right here. Soundflower 1.6.6b, that is the most stable version. And it will work on, I have a Mac 10.9.5. So if you have that, it'll work on, on your Mac or below. Run the other version at your own risk. I don't think it'll work for you. So we do open, just do open. And just install it normally. Should install fine. If you get this warning, just hit continue. Continue, continue, agree. Let's see, customize. So he hit, yeah, do hit customize because you get the sunflower bed. I never usually use this, so I uncheck it. I just, I have no need for it, but you know, if you want to install it, you can install it. So it looks like I'm upgrading mine because I already had it installed before, but just type in your password. Oh, it's going to ask you to restart your machine, but I already have mine installed, so I'm not going to really need it restarted. Just takes a little bit. Well, why are you taking forever? Let's close some of these programs out. There we go. So that's what you want. The other one was giving me errors. So if you try to install the this one it'll give you error so anyhow we got it installed good to go and then you hit restart and and you should be go your computer click restart to complete the edit. you know but i don't want to restart i really i don't 
You guys suck. There we go. There you go. Eat that. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, I didn't want to uh, restart because that means I got to set up all my video and my screen flow program and all that. So, so good. We need to test that on something. So this is after you restarted your computer. You want to go in and this is how you use it. Go into your, your card and you're going to see two things in here. You see Soundflower 64 channel or two channel. 64 channel is, I'm going to talk about that on a different day. That's like if you have like two different sources of audio and, and you, you're doing something a little crazy. So that's a little complicated and we're not going to get in that. But you have the option of having up to 64 virtual channels in Soundflower, which is kind of cool. But we're just going to pick the output of Soundflower 2 channel. So look here, you're in your, all right, so let's go back, just, just open up preferences. And if it, you know, I usually keep my preferences on my menu here, but it's not in preferences. You just go into, you get your preferences. It's really easy just go click here, system preferences there. Boom, got it. All right, so in your preferences, you go to your sound and in your sound, you wanna to go to your Soundflower 2 channel right there. And just pick that as your output. All right, we got that. Done. Boom. That's all you need to do. Close that out. Depends on what you want to do here. So what we want to do is we want to record something from like YouTube. Then we open up Logic because this is about Logic. Yes, I know I have different versions of Logics because I'm anal like that. We're going to open up the latest and greatest because that's 2.2 .2 whatever, you know, you know, because they Seems like they've been coming out like a new version like every other month. It's crazy. So then it's open and I'll do a new template. Say software instrument. Well, we could do audio channel because that's what we're going to use. Create. But here we go. We have to set up logic to receive the audio from SoundCloud. So it's really easy. You just go in here, preferences, audio. And then it looks like I already have it set from before. So what you want is your input device is Soundflower 2 channel. And so what's happening is if you go to your sound card is you've, what you've now done is you've set the internal sound to focus everything that you open up internally in the computer to go through this sound pipe. It's kind of like you change the, the way that the flow of audio goes to here. And so it's going to direct all that flow of audio through the Soundflower 2 channel. And so now I'm taking that same flow and I've directed it right back into my input device of Logic. And my output device is my Lisa's Firewire, which is like a really cool 16 channel mixer board that's Firewire. It's, it's nice. It's decent. It's better than some interfaces I've had. That's it. That's all you have to do. Set those two just like that and you close it out. So then when we go over to our audio, you open up a new audio, you know, just like again, audio, you could change your input to, because we're only going to have one input, which is going to be that input. And our output is going to be, you know, whatever output that you want it to be. So that, then add input. And if we look at it, it's going to be input one and two. Input monitoring, check that, and just turn on the volume, and then we just open up something cool. So you open up Google. We can just type in, you know, like a YouTube video. So let's go on YouTube and we can do my favorite band in the world, Faded Shadows Music. And then what we do, find something cool. So if we just, you know, just click on one, say like we click on this one right here, skip that. But you could see right now it's coming through.
go pause that, see, pause. And if we wanted to sample something, that's, there we go. We can go ahead and we could size this down here. Something small. So we got the play button. We can put our audio, you want to put a limiter on it, you know, dynamics limiter. And then, you know, you can put EQ or whatever you want to put on it. But I just put a limiter on it, put the volume up at a reasonable level, but I'm going to keep it down because I don't want to blow you guys away. But, and then you just hit play or hit your record button first. I'll turn that off so this doesn't annoy you. And then hit play. Look at that. Watch on the Logic video in Logic. That's kind of cool. All right, you can turn it off. That is how you sample from YouTube. Yay. <laughs> and there's a lot of cool things that you could do with it. I've been playing around and I've been doing a lot of cool sampling. And just the other day, I discovered something really cool and speech to text. Here it is. So this is cool. So we got this little web speech API. You, you have to set up logic in a different way, but what you also want is you want it to hear what you're speaking. So if we go in without creating a loop, so we still have everything set up before is the same, but what we need to do is we go into we can get out of this because we won't need this anymore. And the trick of here is we go into, say like audio MIDI setup, and that that is, if you go utilities, you find that in your little piano thing right there. And if it doesn't open both windows, what you do is you go window and it'll say show window. Like for example, if this is hidden, you just say show audio window. And that's the one you want. So you can close the other one. So what you do is you go to this, you make a multi-output device. If it's not already, already there, you say, um, you hit this little plus mark, create multi-output device. So you create that. And then, so what I did is you want to output your sound card and I'm using my Alesis Firewire, my interface and Soundflower two channel. So I got those both outputted. The next step, See, like if you want to do like a, a video of someone talking and record it, say like if we go over to Logic Pro Hacks, cool website. Yeah, I built it out of WordPress. And we click on, you know, cool vibe sample trick. And so what we want to do is put this into text. So how we do it, is we're going to separate both these windows here for a second and put them side by side. I'm going to show you how this works. Put that in there. Put this over here. Like so. What this is going to do is this is the audio is going to go through my sound and this is going to sense it from the mic. Let's try it. Hit play. Allow. Yep. See, it's working. See, but the thing is, is I can't hear it. It can. So what I got to do is we got to put this, run the sound through our interface. So what you do is you change your, let's go ahead and just pause this for a second. Go into your sound card and you change your output from just Soundflower, 
yes, Soundflower 2 channel, and you go to multi output. See, now it's going. All right, so we got that going. So now what happens is you can now hear what this is playing and this guy will be able to hear it at the same time. So check this out. This is cool. We'll go put my headphones. So let's get into a speaking part. That's the sound I was wanting to make. And I made that out of the retro synth. And that's a really cool sound. All right, I'll show you how I did it. First things first is we need a good sample. And this, I will actually upload. This is what I use, just this one sample right here. That's all I did. And it's in C3. And I will go ahead and I'll put this on my website, Logic Pro Hacks. But here's the deal. I'm not gonna tell you where it is. You're gonna have to hunt for it. After you're done, just unclick the, you just unclick the mic. And then what you could do is you could just highlight it, right click on it, copy. And then you just open up a regular text file. I like to use Text Wrangler because Text Wrangler is just cool and it's rad because if you're not a hacker, unless you use cold text program like that, you paste it right in. And, and it's pretty darn accurate. You know, you might have to edit it a little bit, but what's cool for this is, you know, you can use this to like if you're doing uh, editing and, and you want to fine tune your videos and um, before you record them, you can actually use something like this or, you know, there's a lot of possibilities with, but this is just a couple, two things that you can use Soundflower for. And it's just really some cool crap, cool shit, whatever. So that my friends is why <laughs> I love doing this. Anyways, remember my friends, stay groovy. Uh, if you like this, please give me a fat thumbs up. If you want more, I'm taking requests. If you want to do something or collaborations or anything, you know, just hit me up. Stay groovy, my friends. Chill. Cheers. Mm. Hit continue. It's going to stall. And then type in your password to confirm. And my password is P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Now you know my password. No, it's not. <laughs> like, I'm really going to tell you that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's opening, opening. Oh, yeah, what you just saw there is my logic because I still have it open. You should close your logic if you install this, but oh, well. Um, mm. Oh, that's good. Got a new beer today called Cujo made by Flying Dog. Really good. It's a coffee stout. 9%. Oh, why did it fail? Oh, what the heck?